Hello and welcome. We have a supplemental tutorial video today for the Houston hoodie crochet pattern. This is not a full pattern tutorial. You will need the written pattern to go along with this video. You can purchase the pattern in my Ravelry or my Etsy shop. Both will be linked in the description. We're going to start at the end of the front panel. All right, I have completed my panel and I am on the end of row 48 for size medium. And now I'm ready to start my sleeve. So this panel part is going to be from your the bottom up to about your armpits, um, right before you would start a sleeve. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drop this working yarn. I'm not going to fasten off, but I'm going to drop it. I'm going to come back over here on stitch one of my last row. And I'm going to take another, I've just got some extra yarn here. And I'm going to join it to my first stitch. So that very first stitch you made of your last row. Whoops. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain the length of my sleeves. So we have our sleeves um, at about 15 inches for size medium because we're a little oversized here. So it's going to overlap a little bit. So it's a little shorter than your average sleeve, but by the time you get the sleeve finished, it will be the right length. So I am chaining 54 here. All right, I've done 54 chains. Now I'm just going to take my scissors. I make this a little longer so I can weave it in easily and fasten off. So I've just got a chain of 54 here on the other end. Now I am done with my extra skein of yarn and I'm going to come back over here and pick my working yarn back up and I, I am going to chain 56 on this side. So your working side yarn you're going to chain two extra so that you can double crochet into the third chain from your hook and across. So we're going to do 56 on this side. All right. 56 chains on this side and now I am going to start working into these chains. So we are going to be working into the second chain from I mean a third chain from our hook and each chain across and then we're going to pick up back in our panel and we're going to work double crochet all the way across and and then one in each chain across on this side. So you're going to have a total for this size of 184 and double crochet and that's going to be our two sleeves and our panel. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to start by doing a double crochet in the third chain from my hook and in each chain across. So from here to the panel you should have 54 double crochet. All right, I have done all my double crochet in the chains. Now I'm back to my panel. So I'm going to do one double crochet in each stitch across until I get to the other side and the chains there. And then I'll do my double crochet in those chains. So I'm going to do that now and I'll show you what it looks like at the end of this row. All right, I have completed all of my double crochet all the way across. You can see we have two, the start of two sleeves. So now we are going to continue our sequence of single crochet row, then double crochet row, and single crochet row until we're, we get to where we will uh, shape the neckline. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to complete these rows and I will meet you back when we get to the neckline. Okay, I have worked the rows up. For the sleeves and across um, up to the point where we are going to create the neckline. So what I've done, this is for size medium, I have counted 78 stitches and marked the next one with a stitch marker and then I have from that one, counting that one as the first 
28 stitches here in the 28th stitch I have another stitch marker and then what I have left over on this side is 78 stitches as well so you can do that to help you know where to go and then what we're going to do is we're going to continue our rows we're going to do four rows for this for this side and then we're going to start on the next side which four more rows but we're just going to be working our rows to that last stitch before the stitch marker. So 78 stitches. So I finished with my single crochet. I'm gonna long chain and turn, and I'm gonna work 78 double crochet, and I'll end at that stitch right before the stitch marker. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, I have worked my 78 double crochet and I am at the stitch right before my stitch marker. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna keep going. I'm going to chain one and turn and work my row of single crochet back to the end of the sleeve for 78 single crochet. And I'm gonna be doing that for three more rows and then I'm gonna fasten off and do the same thing on this side. So I'll show you how I do that in just a moment. All right, I'm on row eight, which is where we join back um, the back of our neckline for our panels um, and finish off the sleeves. So I've done row eight all the way up to the skip stitches. Now I am going to chain 28. All right, and I'm gonna join it to this stitch, first stitch over here of my second sleeve panel, shoulder area, by just working one single crochet into that stitch, and then one single crochet all the way across. And that's gonna give us our back side. As you can see here, it creates the rectangle. Um, and then we're gonna work across, and then we'll be working in our long rows again to finish out the sleeves. Um, I think we have 14 more rows for this side. So I'm gonna do that now. And I will meet you back at the end. All right, I just quickly wanted to show you what it looks like. I have worked my double crochets into the chains. And now I'm ready to continue my rows to finish my sleeve. So I'm going to go ahead and do those rows. And then I'll show you how to finish those off and uh, start the back panel. All right, I have completed my sleeve. So you can see here, I've got, I can't get it all in view, but this is our front panel. And then we have made our sleeves and it's all going to fold in half like so. So this is our neckline, and we're gonna sew our hood along to that. But I've completed my sleeves. I'm going to now fasten off at the end of my last row of sleeves and rejoin to make our back panel. I'm just gonna fasten that off. Lay this out flat again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let me get my yarn, is I have my yarn here. I'm gonna take off these uh, stitch markers because I'm gonna use them again. You can keep them and use more if you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use these. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to my first sleeve over here, my first stitch of my last row of sleeves, and I'm gonna count 54 for this size, this is size medium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 
54. And I'm going to stick my stitch marker into that 54 stitch. All right. Now I am going to count 76. Let me double check that number. Yes, 76 for from here, from this next one. So this next stitch next to my stitch marker is stitch one. So one, two, three, four, five, three, three, four, three, five, 76. And I'm gonna stick my stitch marker to the one next to that one. All right, so I have 76 stitches in between here. Now I should have on this side 54 left. Counting, starting with my stitch marker stitch. So that's one, two, four, five, six. Seven. All right, 54. So there are 76 stitches in between my stitch markers. And that is where I'm going to be doing my panels. All right, so now I'm going to flip it over. Since I'm left handed, I got to get it onto the right side. There we go. And I want you to be able to see it. So I'm facing right side. Here's my wrong side. That would be the row that you ended your single crochet on. So you need to be facing the right side um, for when you join your panels because you're starting with the, a double crochet row. So we're going to join our panel, I mean our yarn, to the stitch next to the stitch marker. Not the one with the stitch marker. We've got 76 in between the stitch markers. So I'm going to join, do a chain, and I'm going to double, do one double crochet in this stitch. And in each stitch across for 76 stitches, which should be the all the stitches in between your um, stitch markers. And this will be the start of our panel. So basically we are mimicking this. It's gonna look exactly the same. And when it folds over, it will be the same size and look almost exactly the same. And so we'll continue following the pattern with double crochet row, single crochet row, all the way down to the last four rows where it's all single crochet for the little trim. And then, we are going to be ready to sew, fold it and sew it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, this back panel. And when I'm finished, I'll show you how to do the folding and the sewing. All right, we have completed both panels. And what I have done, as you can see here, is folded it in half, right at the neckline. And you're gonna get what looks like a shirt. No, I can't show it all in film in the focus, but this is what it looks like. And so, what we are going to do now, I've blocked this just to get the panels. My uh, tension was a little off in the back panel and loosened up a bit, so I had to block to make sure that they match in size. All right, and so what we're going to do is we're going to start here uh, at our first double crochet, and so up the side and across the sleeve, the bottom of the sleeve, um, to sew them together. So we're just gonna go up and over with our um, needle and yarn, and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. All right, I turned it sort of sideways so you can see what we're doing on the side. I've got it lined up as much as possible. Um, so that the double crochet rows are lined up in the front and the back and we've got the bottom here lined up of the sleeve. All right, I'm going to take a long piece of yarn and thread my needle into it and then I'm going to start down here at the bottom. 
I'm not going to work into those first four single crochet stitches. That's like a little, gonna be like a little split hem. So what I'm doing is, let's start down here on the back. I am putting it into along the side of those double crochet, the row right there. Give it some space. And I'm gonna do like a mattress stitch. I'm going to work back and forth into the side. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it, sticking it into that last stitch or starting chain, depending on what it is. And I'm gonna sew all the way up to the armpit. And then from there, I'm going to do the bottom of the sleeve. And I'm just going back and forth. Since we don't have any stitches to work into, this is probably the easiest way to do it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and complete this all the way up to the armpit. And then I'll come back and show you the arm sleeve, how I do that. And then we'll do the other side and we'll be ready for our hood. All right, I'm to the sleeves now. And so th there are stitches here for the sleeves, so it makes it a lot easier to just uh, work into those stitches. I'm gonna continue. I don't have to fasten off or anything. The only reason I would need to is if I ran out of yarn um, for like my yarn tail that's attached to my needle. So I'm, and I'm not there yet, so I, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to work my mattress stitch into the stitches rather than just the side of the um, the side here like I did there. And I'm going to go all the way to the end and then I'll be done. So I'm going to do that now. All right, I am ready to sew on my hood, sew my hood together and and sew it on. Uh, I've got my rectangle here. You can turn this inside out and fold it and then slip stitch across the top if you prefer. But I am going to sew. It's less of a seam that way. So I'm fastening off with a long tail. And I'm going to take my yarn needle. I folded it in half, facing the wrong side, as you can see, inside out. And I'm going to sew along the top of my rectangle. And I'm just gonna use the mattress stitch again, just like I did for the sweater. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I'll show you what to do after that. All right, I've got it all sewed up. Now I'm going to turn it back to the right side. And we have our hood. So it's going to open up into a nice triangle. And now we're ready to sew it on to the neckline. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to find a stitch marker real quick and mark the middle of our neckline to start. All right, I have marked the 14th stitch. Uh, we have 28, 28 stitches here. I've marked the 14th stitch. That's gonna be our middle point. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the corner and line it up with that stitch. And I am going to sew Together. I have a long tail of yarn and I'm going to be sewing along each stitch of my neckline around to the back and I'm just sewing each stitch around and it's going to be like this.
So once it's all sewn, it'll be more like that. And you'll have your head opening here. And then we'll work on the uh, trim for the hood so you can have a drawstring. I just wanted to show you how I'm sewing this. I am just working. I've got it laid pretty much flat against the neckline. Whoops. And I'm working my mattress stitch again, just in each stitch here along the hood. And I'm just in and out. I've got lots of yarn, so it's a little bit crazy, but that's how I'm doing it. And I'm going to go all the way around in each stitch because what it is is the bottom of that hood is the same amount of stitches as the neckline. So we're just one stitch per stitch on the neckline. And I'll show you what it looks like at the end. We have our hood sewn on. Now we are ready to create a trim and I've made my drawstring. And now I'm ready to create the trim that goes in front of the hood that will secure the drawstring inside. So I'm gonna join my yarn down here along the side of my hood. And I'm going to do one single crochet. And I'm gonna do one single crochet along each row of my hoodie or the hood until I get to the other side. So I'm going to have 32 single crochet. All right, I've done a row of single crochet all the way around for 64 single crochet. Now I am going to chain one and turn <coughs> and work one single crochet in each stitch across to the back to the other side. And I'm going to do that for three more rows. So we're going to have four rows of single crochet total. I am back and as you can see I have already completed the um, put the drawstring in and completed the front of the hood. Unfortunately, when I filmed it, part of it was not in shot in the, in the, on the screen. So I had to cut that whole section. But I'm going to now link you to a video that shows that in detail from my other hoodie pattern that I have, the Dutton hoodie. So I'll link that in the top corner for you. You can click on that and that's going to show you how to take your hood trim and sew it around the from like the end of it to the the very first row of it and sew it to each other so that you have like a tube for your drawstring and this is what it will look like once it's done um, and the drawstring can be moved or tied or however you want to do it so I'm linking that for you sorry about that but it just it I had to scratch it so that is how you do the front of the hood, the hood trim, and the drawstring.